Okay, before we get into the really crazy stuff, I'm going to start by going over the more standard scenarios. In this scenario, we've done minimal damage with mines. As you can see, our worker count is just a little bit behind the Protoss opponent. So we, we actually got our first mine into the mineral line, killed some probes, he rushed out an observer, and now he's pretty much got this situation under control. Our troops are about, you know, they're almost to the natural expansion. It's about five minutes into the game, and we are about to initiate our attack. Let's check this out, though. At the natural, we have one pylon. His mothership core is out of position, so we can't overcharge this pylon. If his mothership core was here, our first target would be this pylon. You can even bypass the, the pylon, which we'll see in the next example. And it may or may not be a better choice, but if the mothership core isn't around and this pylon's fair game, immediately snipe it. So the goal in this scenario where you have a single pylon and no mothership core to defend the natural and a fully saturated natural, as you can see, like most of his probes have been moved to this natural expansion because he's afraid of these mines. So what we want to do in this scenario is immediately snipe this pylon and we want to sweep through this natural expansion killing as many probes as we can and absolutely wreck his economy. So let's kind of see this in motion here. We'll follow the Marine Marauder up the ramp. I actually have one of my dudes inside the medvac. So we see that it's a free pylon. We take it. We move into his natural expansion. Take out all the probes. Go ahead and finish off his nexus. It's not absolutely necessary to do this. It's probably actually better just to move into the main base. But I decided to finish this off. I killed so many probes. I know his economy is just absolutely wrecked. It's uh, He's at 14 workers right now. Move on up the ramp. Try to avoid these, these pylons as best as possible. I probably could have done a better job by not engaging them, but I decided to go ahead and target them down because I saw that he had very few units in play. So I sniped those pylons. We have Stem Marine Marauder. It's going to take care of the uh, pylons very quickly. It's one of the advantages of Legacy of the Void. We don't have to worry about a massive hit point Nexus cannon anymore. So you can target the pylons down. But in this scenario, I probably could have done a better job by actually moving back and taking out the buildings and staying safe from the range of the pylon overcharge. So we clean everything up, and that's a GG.